fuck up your shit Acting like you paying for shit Get your power do right Outside of your doggy bed Bitch, I am so done with that Tell me how a grown man so childish Always in Kevin Samuel's comments I'm just gonna stand on by and watch you waste my time But I am too damn fine, baby Get some more loyal, baby Get some more true like collective welcome back to my channel if you're new here hit that subscribe button and like this video okay love and light to you guys hope y'all feeling good today hope y'all feeling blessed if not lift yourself up pick your head up pick your shoulders up okay it's gonna get better um keep in mind my readings are general only take what resonates with you and your situation this is free energy that i'm channeling there's not a name on it so don't take nothing that don't belong to you and stress yourself out okay so we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into the reading once again like that video do not be lazy okay the same way that i'm taking the time out to give y'all clarity and take the time out to like my video for me okay I'm not saying that rude or anything also if y'all see my clothes in the background it's laundry day okay so don't be like oh my god she got laundry in the back of her video yes i gotta fold some damn clothes <laughs> so and I fucking hate folding, so yes, I got clothes in the back. Okay, so let's go ahead and tap in. I'm really feeling this gypsy deck. Okay, if anybody's wondering what this deck is called, it's a new deck that I recently came across, and I like it. it helps me get into detail more. So let's go ahead and start off on what is going on in the situation. Um I'm going to go ahead and pull Zodiac signs. Um, once again, just because I'm pulling a sign does not mean that this is the video. is That's what that video is just about, that sign. No, this is a timeless read, a collective read, and this energy could apply to anybody. But if a specific Zodiac sign comes out, that spirit gives you a huge confirmation that this message is for you or you need to work on something that's being said in this video we got gemini coming out okay so there's a gemini that's needing to be addressed in this video give me another sign spirit there can be a gemini that's born on the third day we have pluto hmm. I wonder what's that coming out about let me get my deck and see what that meaning is I got the right story. Okay, so what does this photo card mean, Spirit? Why is this coming out? Give me some clarity. What does this mean? Hold on, y'all. Bear with me. Pluto, Pluto, Pluto. Okay, we got Pluto is associated with the Roman god Pluto who ruled the underworld. Small Pluto carries a lot of important human experiences. Nothing less than life, death, rebirth, and sex. Tied in with these ideas are issues of power and control, as well as finding per personal freedom from com confining mindsets, okay? So with this card coming out, this is letting me, um, this is letting, basically letting me know somebody's a prisoner in their own mind, okay? This could be specifically a Gemini who's imprisonating themselves in their own mind, who's holding their own self back from their own accomplishments, okay? You can't accomplish it because you are holding yourself back. This is a message for somebody that's a Gemini, okay? Also, there's a Gemini energy that's heavily involved in this reading. So somebody's person could be a Gemini. We got a servant, okay? Somebody could be being slaved around in a relationship or somebody expects somebody to be their servant in a relationship. Um, somebody expects somebody to please and um, cater to them 24-7, okay? Um, meanwhile, at the bottom of this deck, we got consistency. So somebody wants, somebody expects somebody to be a servant in a relationship and still be consistent as well. So they are putting a lot of weight on somebody's shoulders in a relationship or they're overlooking a person in a relationship. This could be you that's getting overlooked or you could be the one on the outside looking in on the situation and... Um, watching your person do somebody else like this, okay? 
but your person may just have this energy of feeling like anybody they deal with is supposed to please and, and cater to them 25 8 um having their shoes ready clothes folded bath water ran food ready at the table and if they don't do it if they feel like you're, you're not being consistent with serving them they move to the next person that's willing to serve them okay so that's juicy that's some tea so let's see um let's get more into it so what's going on how's this servant energy feeling whether it's servant i'm not calling you a servant but with the servant energy coming out this is somebody who is being ran around also if you're not in a relationship this could just represent um you know you being the person that does so much for everybody around you and people are starting to forget that you're a human too like literally people could look at you as a servant dead ass like possibly um you know every time somebody need a favor it's you they call every time somebody needs to borrow some money it's you they call um, somebody could be putting their weight on your back expecting you to take care of tasks that they're responsible for and then when you don't want to do it they make you feel guilty for not wanting to do it or when you speak up for yourself and reveal that you can't get shit done for yourself because you always help with somebody else you're the bad guy don't allow people to do that to you that's karmic energy okay and if anybody is upset with you because you have to look out for yourself for a change they don't need to be in your life we got the child i was meant to be okay so somebody's childhood was stolen from them or somebody um came into the servant energy as a child okay so this is going back to somebody's parenting or also somebody could have a child that they're not realizing they're uh applying childhood wounds to okay with the bullshit somebody has a child that's enduring their parent you could be the parent um going through so much shit from watching you struggle to struggle cry about bills be brokenhearted possibly be abused by somebody you're in a relationship with or got out of a relationship somebody's child is taking on a lot of baggage that they don't need to take on somebody could have a young child or just a child that's just literally being a mom around the house okay so with this child i was meant to be coming out somebody needs to take a load off of their child's shoulders um this is not their child's response your child's responsibility is not to be the parent for you and i get it some people go through um shit and they can't maintain and you do have responsible kids you do you have kids who are naturally responsible without having to teach them um they came into this world with an old soul so it's not uncommon for you to have a child that's very helpful but make sure you realize that you are the parent okay not this kid because somebody kid feel like they're a servant but also this is just representing somebody having to consistently do for people and this could have been your energy you could have had a parent who um bossed you around and made you do unnecessary shit while your un your other siblings didn't have to do anything to help um this affected you. You couldn't be a child. Somebody couldn't be a child at a child given age. Somebody had to grow up quickly. Um, we got consistently. We got black flower fragrance. Okay. And then we got fragmentation. Colorless angel. And is this me? Okay. Somebody. Yeah, somebody's being really mentally abused in a relationship. This might be you or this might be your person's person. If this is a third party situation and this is not you. Somebody is, I'm here and I'm looking in the mirror at this woman down and out. She's internally dying and knew this was not what love's all about. <laughs> that fucking note was bogus. I know. I know, but... Yeah, y'all get the point, okay? Somebody is internally dying because they're not getting enough give and take. They're not getting um, what they're dishing out. Somebody is literally somebody's in-house maid, especially if they're married to somebody, okay? Somebody's locked into being somebody's prisoner slash lover slash confidant slash provider. Um, somebody really depends on somebody, okay? This is a really dark energy, with this black flower fragrance, this is representing somebody who um, is emanating a, a dark energy about themselves, okay? So, your person could be dark or this karmic energy or whoever this other person is. If you're not being done like this, 
or allowing this person to do you like this anymore. They could be doing it to somebody else now. They're really bringing somebody's vibrations all the way down, okay? Somebody wants to bring somebody down with them. At the bottom of the deck, we got revenge. So somebody wants revenge against you, viewer, okay? Somebody definitely wants revenge. Um, somebody's mad at you because they battled with you about a nigga or a female, okay? And please don't be offended by me saying nigga. Everybody has melanin in them, so. But that don't mean, you know, you can throw that word around. Um, not to offend anybody, not, I'm not saying that, but I really feel like everybody has melanin in them. So I refer, even if you're white, even if you're Mexican, even if you're Asian, I say that. <laughs> so yeah, I just, I know some people are sensitive, like, damn, nigga, you throw a nigga around a lot. Yeah. So somebody is upset that you're free. Okay. Free at last. You doing you. No ties to nobody. You don't have to answer to nobody. You don't got to worry about getting cussed the fuck out or accused of something. If you miss a call, I'm picking up somebody's boyfriend or ex or baby daddy or whatever. If you're a man watching this, flip the roles, how it applies. But I hear that somebody couldn't even take a shit and piss without being hounded by their lover because their lover's so insecure because they out here fucking around. So whenever you had time to yourself and you wasn't entertaining them they were accusing you of stuff or making you feel like you wrong for something okay um but back to this energy that wants revenge somebody could be 20 years old or 23 years old or 20 years old because it came out and i wasn't even trying to say that somebody could be 23 years old 22 somebody could have a three-year-old or a 10-year-old somebody's birthday is in october october 27th to be exact um we got widow, uh, widower. Ooh, shit. Okay. So either somebody's husband passed away or somebody's wife passed away, but this is a man right here. Okay. So he's at somebody's grave. Um, I hate to put this energy out there. And like I said, take this how it resonates. This is not everybody's situation, but somebody either is about to have a wife pass away or somebody's wife has passed away and they don't want to release this marriage because I don't know, they're attached to it. Okay. Somebody could be struggling in a connection where somebody's person passed away and they still want to tie to this person or they won't, you know, I don't know how it works when your lover divorces, but I don't know if you still remain legally married or what, but somebody's having a problem um, furthering their commitment with somebody due to them hanging on to somebody that passed away. But I do feel like um, in my other reading, I got that somebody was sick. Okay. So there could be somebody who's sick, literally this energy, this, this person, your person, if this is, a, this is kind of giving me third party vibes, I feel like if they are in a relationship with somebody and it's not you, they're literally sucking the life force out of this person. Okay. And this person could have this karmic or whatever she is, or he is whatever energy they embody um, because they're taking on so much to please this person and and be with this person they're literally taking their life okay not really not literally but like somebody is suffering from a health problem that they're either choosing to ignore or they know about it and they're not doing nothing about it because they so low vibrational they don't give a fuck okay in my past videos i talk about how some of you guys this person is nasty They'll walk around itching and, and scratching on their dick and not say a word to nobody. They won't even get checked. Some of them scared to go to the doctor. They don't give a fuck. Literally. They'll f literally fuck with somebody knowing that they possibly got something. And then what they'll do is fuck with you, then go to the doctor and get cured. And then you coming back like, hey, I'm, something's wrong with me. I'm not, something ain't right. Who you been fucking with? Nobody. I'll show you my papers. Now their papers is negative because they already done one and got treated for some shit just to blame it on you. So y'all need to make sure y'all watching out for who y'all dealing with sexually. Um, but yeah, somebody's getting ready to be a widower. Okay. Somebody could feel like, you know, and somebody's also telling them there's the only way out of this marriage is death. So somebody wants out of a commitment. Look, we got a lover. Yeah, there's a lover not willing to leave. And we got a thief. Okay. In reverse. Um, so somebody could have been, cause somebody could have stole your man from you or, um, you could have stole somebody's man and then they went back to this lover 
okay? And, and you know, left you hanging, sold you dreams, played with your mind, you know, sold you fantasies. And I do pick up this energy does care for you. Um, you are the apple of the eye. But like I said in my other video that I posted before this one, um, they, lo they know that they no longer resonate with your energy. So they know that they have to... Um, get on your level. And for some of them, they're just, it's too much. It's too scary. It's just, they don't know. They, they don't like not knowing what's on the other side. They want to know the outcome. And with this person who is the servant energy, they know the outcome with this person. They know how they're going to respond, react. They know that when they do certain shit, this is what she going to do. And then she'll be back to the cool. With you, you always throwing out boomerangs at them. You, they, you just never, they never know what they're going to get dealing with you. They never know what your response is going to be. So it's hard for them to adjust to your energy. This is why some of them have not come back and, and reunited with you because they're, they just don't feel like they can. And it's killing them inside to know that it's like missing a bus for your first day of work. That's not a good look. Okay. So you, let's say you missed the bus for your first day of work. Are you going to call them and explain that? Or are you going to just say, fuck it? Because you already know they're going to let you know, well, we told you you had to be here on the first day of work to um, be officially an employee. Most people are going to say, fuck it, because they already know they done fucked up. Some people are going to try to argue the situation and fight for their position. This person, somebody's person is feeling like, just fuck it, because she's too much of a boss for me. And they're coming with this thief energy, Okay. They like to steal. If somebody has a stealing um, energy or somebody watching this video could be a booster. Um, like the type of person who, you know, boosts things. Get clothes and sell them for a cheaper price. Some of y'all may know what I mean. Okay. Somebody's trying to actually get a normal job because they don't want to be a booster anymore. They don't want to steal shit and sell it. Um, but also this is representing somebody stealing your heart. A lover. Okay. Somebody stole your heart. Play with your mind. Um, sold you dreams, okay, and then went back to a commitment with a servant energy because this servant energy is going to please them regardless to what they do to them. Are you willing to be that servant energy? Because if you're willing to be that servant energy viewer, they'll definitely come be with you in a hot second. If you tell them, I'm going to let you run all over me, ha have it your way, you can cheat. I'm not going to say shit. I'm not going to get mad. I'm going to let you have it. I'm going to let you do me how you want to do me. I'm not going to stay. I'm going to stick beside you because that's what love is. You stick beside your person through the worst, even when they're showing you disloyalty. I'm not saying that's what true love is. This is what your person feels. This is what they expect you to say to them. And this could be what your person's person says to them. And this is why they choose to be in that environment. But know that they are miserable. Know that it's sickening every day that goes by. And they have to tolerate this energy, okay? It's a turn off as hell, but it's what they used to. It's what they're comfortable with. And honestly, I feel like um, somebody's going to end up losing a person that they're married to. Um, and they play a part in the reason why this person is passing on. Um, because they've stressed this person the hell out. And like I've said in a future vid I mean, a past video, you can definitely pass away from a broken heart. That's why it's it's very important that y'all do not allow these niggas and females to run you in the ground. Okay. After, after so long, you have to think about your actual physical body because only a body can only take so much inner pain. Okay. It'll start really fucking with your heartstrings. Heartstrings are really real and they break, they detach every time you apply stress on there or that chemical imbalance that is triggered from your brain every time you cry or every time you hurt. Okay, so y'all got to pay attention to y'all health when y'all dealing with these motherfuckers. Because this servant energy could be on her way out. She could be already having like bodily issues or have already had to go to the doctor. You may notice. Okay, you may notice something was going on. But I feel like for somebody's wife or girlfriend or baby mama, they told her she need to stay in the house and chill and, and relax, lighten her load. And she's not doing that. Because why? She's too busy chasing after this lover, this person, your lover, whoever you in love with, y'all in love with. She just felt like I cannot give him a chance to have an opportunity with somebody else. Meaning if she in the bed supposed to recover from a sickness and he finna go somewhere, she literally willing to take the IVs out her arm and get in the car and go with him just to make sure he doesn't cheat. Okay? We got the knave of 
calluses, okay? So with this deck, some of these cards, I don't know what the meaning is. So I'm just going to base this off of the picture and what I'm picking up from my intuition. Okay, so we got a black cat right here. So this is representing luck, okay? Somebody does need to purchase them a black cat or somebody could have a black cat. But it's definitely good to keep cats in your circle. They are very protective. They're walking crystals. Um, definitely get you a black cat, okay? Um, but somebody's person may not like cats. He looks a little irritated. But this picture is representing somebody being left out in the cold, okay? Somebody having to eat dinner alone. So I feel like if you've been waiting on your person, this could be how the situation play out. Not saying this is everybody's situation, okay? And I'm not trying to put death into my reading because I hate when that type of energy comes up. I don't like worrying people. Um, but I don't pick up that anybody that ends up watching this video is going to die. That's not what I'm getting, okay? Um, and your person's person may not even pass away. They just may end up you know, being, you know, crippled or something. Something's going to happen to where your person is alone, okay? He left you alone. He chose a commitment over you. He felt something was more important than you. And you had to wait it out. You had to watch people be happy, like, you know, how he's watching. There's a couple back here in love, okay? But this is him. But I'm just using the example of how you're back there. I mean, they're back there in love and you would used to sit at the table alone, crying, frustrating, life all over the place. It seems like it's shit all over the place. He's writing. He's trying to get his emotions out. Literally, this is what he's doing. He's going, and like I said in my other reading, they're trying to do new things to figure out how to be more resonate, to resonate with you more. So now some of them are expressing their emotions on paper because they don't have enough friends to, to trust anymore. They've lost a lot of friends. A lot of people have showed them their true colors. Okay, so they don't have anybody really that they can trust to give them energy or give them, you know, advice on how they should go on with the situation. Because nine times I'm saying everybody that was will give him advice about you um, wants you for themselves or they don't fuck with you. So they're going to lead him away from you. Okay, regardless. So this person realized that based off the whole cycle y'all done been through. So now at this point, he's doing things different, like venting, manifesting, planning out um, shit, okay? Some of these masculine energies could be into tarot now because of you. If you've mentioned it to them, they're looking into the shit and picking up what they need to be doing, okay? Um, but they're fucking pissed. They hurt. Because now they're a widower. For some, you know, they person has passed. They're alone, and now you're watching. You're, they watching you be happy, and it's hella fuck. It feel honestly, I wouldn't feel slapped in the face, but I would, especially um, if I did somebody bogus as hell and had them waiting on me for fucking years, months, whatever. While I was enjoying my happiness with somebody else, and I had another person on the back burner, who I didn't sold dreams, who I really loved for real. But I'm too intimidated by their confidence, so I let it be. I was with the weaker link. Because the weakest link, the weakest link is easier to deal with. I don't have to be a man. I don't have to grow up. So why not stay in this commitment? And why you stayed? Because they had that mindset. They were out. You, you know, they was living their best life. I mean, yeah, they was living their best life with this person while you was hurt. Okay. So now look how karma works. Ending up alone. Ending up a widower. Not having this person by their side anymore because they ran their ass in the ground in the process of being with them. And now you don't want their ass anymore. And they dried up. They washed up. Okay, in your city, nine times out of ten, majority of the people, at majority, somebody lives in a small town and your person has fucked everybody in that town. That's what I'm picking up, okay? Somebody is upset at the mistake that they made. This is how your DM will be in the future. This is for those who choose not to take yours back. If you're choosing to take yours back, let's see how you're going to be. How is they going to be? Oh, this is cute. Okay. This is cute. Okay. So we got a man helping his woman get dressed or either helping undress her. But this man appears to be admiring um, this woman's beauty. Okay. He's admiring the prize that he got. Looks like he kind of kissing her ass. Like she's the boss and he's the help. Like he's her servant, okay? You gonna have this motherfucker in servant energy and loving lover energy if you choose to take this person back, okay? This is for somebody's lover who is trying to relearn himself to be with you, okay? Now he's your servant. Now he's catering to your every move, okay? 
and that's what you wanted, you're going to run it. But I feel like it's going to get boring because it's going to be annoying to have somebody consistently doing whatever it is you say. Kind of how I mentioned that men don't like chasers. Well, women are the same way. When a man chases them too much, it does kind of get a little annoying and you start to not be interested, especially if a person's done you wrong. And I'm saying this because we got this sword right here. Okay. And this person is back to back after sex, meaning they had meaningless sex. It's not hitting the way it used to. Okay. You're just not interested. So some of y'all might take this person back and still find out within yourself that you've outgrown this person and it's just not the same. Now that the servant energy is out the picture. And she that don't mean she that. It just means she's out the picture for some. Okay. For some, somebody is gonna experience a passing. Um, and it kind of has something to do with bringing the two of you guys together. I kind of hate to say that. Like somebody had to leave to for a connection. But sometimes people, like I said, karmics are specifically assigned to a person, and once their job is done, that's it. Okay. They're done. They're done being karmic in somebody's life. They've elevated somebody so now they got to go on to their next journey um yeah i see you guys outgrowing this person not being interested how's this masculine feeling right now about my viewer even though he could be in a commitment what's his thoughts he wants you to please him okay he wants you to kiss his ass even though he knows it's not gonna happen okay he feel like he the king and you the servant girl some of them look at you as the person they come to for sex because this person in the background looks like an older woman or just a modern woman. No offense to anybody old, but they seem pretty modern, okay? So, and this person looks a little younger. So it seems like this is the woman that I'm with. She born as hell and can't bring no excitement to the table for me. So I call on you when I'm ready to be excited and pleased, okay? And y'all gotta stop letting this person do y'all like that. Y'all ain't no damn... Um, you know, sex mag, what sex maggot? I didn't say maggot, magnet. Sorry, somebody has dimples in their back as well. Okay, and somebody got a real bubble booty. Somebody could be dealing with a fat man, like a bigger nigga. You could be big. I mean, they can be big and you can be small. They could be older and you could be younger. Okay, somebody got them a big old nigga who could have a goatee, a lot of facial hair. Okay, um, but yeah, your person is feeling like he wants you to come and please him sexually right now, especially if you ain't communicating with your person. He wants you right now. And you see how the, this woman is right here in the background watching. This is representing him not caring about her opinion when it comes to y'all two anymore or him having his way. He, he having it like that. He feel like he's a king. I got it like this to where my wife or my woman is in the next room. And I'm in a, and I'm in a, I'm not saying y'all literally be in the same house. I'm just using an example. He feel like basically this is revealing that he do shit in her face and nothing is happening. He don't have any consequences or repercussions to anything he does to her. And this also lets me know that she, he's informed this energy about his feelings for you and that you're not going anywhere, but he also not going to upgrade your position for somebody. Okay. You're not going anywhere, but she ain't going nowhere either. This is their energy at this moment. They do feel this way, but they're still operating off of this energy, okay? Just by this card coming out. Some of them. And some of them is too busy in their books trying to get back to you. But some of them still feel like, I'm going to have you and her. She know you the baddest. But she also know that when I'm done with you, I'm coming in the room with her. So he's playing both of y'all, to be honest. He's getting what he got to do from you, get from you. What he can't get from her, he's getting from you. And what he can't get from you, he's getting from her. And this is making him feel like a king. So y'all got to humble this nigga, okay? He needs to be humbled quick. And he will be. So what's the overall message for this reading? How is things playing out um, in this scenario? How is things playing out? What's the overall energy? Uh, what deck do I want to use? I'm going to just use my Ganesha deck. Give me a card for the overall energy around this reading. What's the overall energy around this reading here? What is the overall energy around this reading? We got reflection. Okay, so this is going to leave somebody having to sit and think about their actions and what they did to lose you. 
And then we got generosity in reverse. Somebody's not being generous to a lover because they're in reflective mode. They're reflecting on their situation. They pissed. They need some alone time, okay? So you leaving this person in a pissed energy because you don't want them, okay? They don't want to be involved with nobody because they got to think about how to get you back, all right? So love and like to you guys. Make sure y'all like this video. Show me some love if it resonated with you um, and comment. Love and light.